It's Pelier today from Editing Visuals and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make the ghost trail effect in After Effects. Before we start this tutorial I just wanted to let you guys know that we recently launched a editing pack called the Color Glitch Pack and you guys can save $10 by using the discount code PELLE. Let's get right into the tutorial here. The first thing we're going to do is to import a clip into our composition. I'm using a clip here of uh, Travis Scott. And you're basically going to rotor brush out whatever you want to have the ghost trail effect on. And in my case, it's going to be Travis Scott. So I'm going to be rotor brushing him out here. And if you guys don't know how to rotor brush, I made a tutorial on it, which will be linked in the description. Your rotor brush should look something like this here. And you're going to be duplicating this layer here. So you're going to press Ctrl D. And now on the layer below here, we're going to delete the rotor brush effect and for the rotor brush layer here the first effect we're going to be adding is called threshold and it's going to look something like this here it's going to be basically black and white the whole uh, object here and uh, we're going to just adjust what we want to glow so so basically all the white parts here is going to glow and make the ghost trail effect so you're going to adjust here what you want to glow i'm gonna go with around 80 here so this small details here a little bit of his hand his chain here another chain here like that's gonna pop and glow you can of course go back and adjust later but uh, i'm gonna start with this setting here and after that to make it glow we're going to be adding deep glow and it's going to look something like this here i'm going to set the radius to 500 and then so we can see the background we're going to press on molt so now it's going to look something like this here pretty cool and now we're going to be making the actual ghost trail and uh, yeah we're going to be adding an effect called echo and when making this effect this very much depends on what clip you're using here my clip here i'm using it has a decent movement i would say so it's gonna work pretty good but if you guys have a pretty like stiff or like still clip you guys will have to drag up the echo time to make the ghost trail longer but for me this default echo effect is going to work i'm just going to increase the a number of echoes to 50. Now it looks very crazy because we already have a glow on but we're going to be decreasing the decay to 0.65 and this is also a setting you have to adjust depending on your clip here and after that I'm going to change the echo operator to maximum. Now I like to add a color to this so I'm going to be adding four color gradient and here I'm going to be using the default blue here so I'm going to be copying it to all of the other color positions. And then I'm going to set the blending mode to overlay. Then I would like to add a flickering effect here. So I'm going to be adding sapphire flicker. And for the last effect, that's really going to make this like motion blur kind of effect. We're going to be adding RSMB. And here I'm going to set the blur amount to 1. So now our ghost trail is going to get this kind of effect here. It looks super cool in my opinion. And uh, now I'm going to show you guys it in the motion. And this is how the effect is going to look in motion. I think it looks super, super cool in my opinion. And if you guys want to step up your editing game, you should check out editingvisuals.com that has amazing editing packs that's really going to take your editing game to the next level. Also, don't forget to check out our socials and our Discord server. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys soon. Take care and uh, have a nice day.